Okay guys, welcome back to part two of the first haul of 2021. Um, I think the camera cut off when I was getting ready to give you guys a spoiler on the um, first one. But as you can see by the title, I did pick up a t-shirt that sold recently. I don't know how recently it sold, I'm just gonna say recently, I don't know. That sold online for $224. And there is one that I have found that's listed on Grail for $124.99. But we'll get to that when um, I'll show you which one that is when we get to it. But. Let's get into the things today. Okay, so let's start off with accessories. I did not do accessories last time. And the first thing I got here is I got this Dooney and Burke purse. It is in fantastic condition. There is no wear on the bottom. I think whoever had this bag, they may have never worn this bag. There may be just a little slight bit of wear on the inside but here is the doing and Burke little thing with the serial number on the back and that's how you can tell that these bags are real the leather ones have like a little placard inside that um it depends on the age of them they may say made in the usa and sometimes they won't <laughs> but oh and guys i have since i have been gone i have started selling on Pop, and i love it so this is one of my pieces that i got for Pop. it's just a little hello kitty messenger bag this is, could be unisex, it could be used by boys or girls or women or men or what have you. And I just thought that was really cute and I had to pick that up. I did get some belts from Salvation Army. <clears throat> I'm trying not to edit these videos that much because it takes a lot of time, but hey. <laughs> Sometimes we do what we have to do. This is one of the, I got two belts. The first one is this beautiful leather belt with this silver um, detailing on the front. It is by, I'm gonna tell you. It is Silver Creek Collection Genuine Leather. And then it has a number. It also has a price here of $29. I guess that's how much they charged back then. But it is definitely a um, vintage piece. And the hardware on here says Legan. And it's made in the USA on the buckle. So this would make a really, really, really pretty piece in someone's wardrobe part of me if i was in the camera for a long time back then <laughs> here's another little belt that i thought was cute it is um like beads and these brass details um i'm not sure which piece goes on top but i don't think there is a brand or anything on it but for a dollar might as well pick it up so the first of the shoes that I got, I was able to score a pair of Ariat boots from the Goodwill. These were $10.99. I'm not sure of what style these are. I have not looked them up yet. Well, I did look them up, but I didn't pay any attention to the, um, the style. But I have, I've seen these go as low as $30 and as high as 110. So I guess it just depends on what um, the condition of the boots are, but I think these are in 
excellent condition. The next thing that I picked up from the um, Goodwill are these cute little kind of es espadrille type of shoe. These are from um, UGG. Really cute. These have never been worn. There's just a little bit of glue residue on there, but it has like the little lace up detail in the back. And these are a size nine. And I thought these will be really cute, especially with that little patchwork um, baby doll dress that I showed you guys in the first um, video. That'd be cute together. The next I have these little um, platform booties. Um, I believe these are a Y2K or 90s. They are from Bongo. Um, these are a size 10 and they are real um, genuine leather. So that's a plus. These are in pretty good condition. I have looked these up. I think those are going for like 30 to 50 bucks. It just depends on, I guess, condition. Um, I also picked these up from Salvation Army. It's a pair of bands. I heard that the little um, canvas style shoes are coming back into style for um, this next season. But I did not realize that these were busted in the back. So I am going to re-donate those. That was $4.00 going down the drain <laughs> and then the next shoes I have here is some Massimo like studded flats these are in a size 11 and these were practically brand spanking new I thought those were really cute so I picked those up and I got these from the box so all right on to the tops and the bottoms that I picked up. Um, I just picked up this little vineyard vine um, t-shirt. Um, it has to spell out on the sleeve. I always pick these up. This is an easily $18 and I paid $2 for it. So I always pick those up. Um, then I have this Jabot, this Maurice Francois um, Jabot Perry. And it is vintage from the 90s. I also have a pair of Gerald jeans in my closet. And I thought that that would be perfect with that. The next is this cute Echo Unlimited. It's kind of felt. I know that there's some discoloration right here. I'm going to try to get that out. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. But, um... It's like this felt kind of working on it, like detailing on it. I thought that was so cute. And it continue wraps around the back. So hopefully I can get that um, stain, that staining out right there. I'm gonna work on that. I'm not the best at removing stains, but I do try. <clears throat> Excuse me guys. The next is a creative artwork art wear top. This is a size large. All of these tops by this person is um, this company, they're hand painted. So no two tops are ever the same. I think I'll probably price that around, what, like 25 or so and see where that goes. The next is a new tags, um, Lulu's little blouse here it's um had a stripe with the sheer sleeves and it's ripped at the bottom kind of like a little peplum um surplice top <clears throat> the next is one of my favorite pieces it may not go for much but i just really thought that it was really funky um it's a candy couture and it is size small it is kind of, it reminds me of like a light denim, not like a chambray, but actually like a light um, denim because it's really thick and it has this these beautiful butterflies and it has like the tie-dye splashes and then it has like some sequins 
outlining the butterflies. I think this is a really cool piece and that'll be cute for the spring. <clears throat> the next two are by um, Lady Van Heusen, size medium. There's some cute little printed um, turtlenecks. This little cute one would be good for St. Patrick's Day and this little tulip one would be cute for um, what do you call Valentine's Day or whatever. It does have a couple spots. I'll watch those and try to get it out, but I thought those were cute. I'll probably sell those for like $15 a piece. Everything is just an estimate. I'm not sure about what um, I'm going to list them at, but just letting you guys know as I go along here. Um, the next three pieces, I kind of found them on one of the new racks that came out together. Um, it's just some Nike dry fit. It's the black and the red, and then it's a pair of shorts. So I will probably lot all of these together. Um, the shorts are an extra large, and the shirts are also extra large. So I'll go ahead on and I will put these in a lot together for like 45 and have those sell at one time. The next is this um, blue Marlin five star vintage um, shirt. It's like a ringer tee. I don't, I think this is more of like a modern um, tee, but I really think it's cute. It's like in retro style. 1983 New York City Parks and Rec, Summer Basketball League. I think that's cute. I don't know how much I will price that at yet. And then the next is just like a legit Jurassic Park um, t-shirt, Universal um, Studios. I'll probably price that no more than 12. Something that could be bundled with something else. <clears throat> The next we have here is the Fox Racing um, shirt. It is in the size medium. I thought that was cute. This is These are kind of stylish and these are in now. <clears throat> okay guys, so here is the top, <laughs> the shirt. Okay, so this shirt has sold on, um, oh my gosh, what is it? I'll put it up here, so bumper something for $224. It's now listed on Grail for $124. It is um, Prohibit, and it's in a size 2XL. What made me look it up in the um, store is because usually when I see tops like this, it's kind of like some little bootleg off-name brand um, who, you know, but it was something about it. It's very thick material and it's by a Japanese um, artist. So, yeah. We'll see what I can get for that sweet baby. The next one is just a um, Diamond Supply um, shirt. I think I have another one of these up now, but it was a collab with someone else. Um, made in the USA, um, 1998. So, I definitely wanted to pick that up. The next two pieces are Arturo, Arturo Cali. One is in a size medium and it says ready for the weekend. And the other one is new with tags and it says it was just a dream. So both of them, well this one's a size small, this is a medium. I'll probably sell them individually. I think these are going around $20 each online. So that was a good pickup. The next is no name brand, but it's this puff paint kind of aztec -y type of thing. I'm going to try to wash it and get some of these spots out, but it is single stitch. So 
so I know that it was vintage just the look of it it's a very thick type of t-shirt material um I really think this is very cute it's very on trend this will be very cute paired with a whole lot of different things the next is a roots athletics um shirt and it's just like a ringer tee with spain on it The next is Life is a Trip, a Neff um, shirt. And I just got this because of the size. This is in a 4XL. So I'll probably list that maybe around like 18 to 20 dollars. The next is this Cold Water Creek size medium. It is like this tapestry style um best I thought this was really pretty and someone will definitely enjoy this the next is just this little um crop top um I thought this was cute it's by Etienne by Sarah Richards, I don't know if this is a lingerie piece, but someone can wear this at the top. It has like the little satin details in the front with the buttons and the trim around it. It has the lettuce hem, so everything is intact on that. There's no holes in the lace, so I thought that would be cute. The next two pieces are my little fast fashion finds. This is from Pretty Little Things. It's actually one of those um scarf crop tops so it was new with tags i couldn't leave her behind somebody wants to take her home that'll be a cute piece for the um summer with some high-waisted wide leg trousers and then also i have here this little crop top by fashion nova with like the bell sleeves this is actually a two-piece um, it was new tags, a two piece as it said on the um, on the tag. I don't know. I'll probably try to go back and find that separate piece, but maybe the person who donated it just um, didn't want just didn't want that piece. But that is the goodwill by my store. I mean, by my home. That's only like two minutes away, so I may go look in there later to see because I just got that on Saturday and today is um, Tuesday so it may still be there and I got this little two piece set um, this is definitely vintage um, I want to say it's from the 90s I can remember wearing these little bicycle shorts outfits with like the um, the chunky type of Oxford shoes yeah we used to to wear this stuff it's hardcore um hardcore for life workout wear america so well it says workoutwear.com so i might look that up so it may not be so vintage after all okay and now we are on to pants i found some Juicy Couture size large track pants. The only problem with these, and it does have the butt pockets, it has a little bleach stain right there. So what I may do is just get some, um, I think I have some blue dye in there and I'll just fill that spot in to where you wouldn't even be able to tell that there was a bleach stain on it and that's a size large the next one is a um it's a mix it mix it 100% genuine leather size 14 it's a leather 
black leather skirt, which we know leather has been trending through the past, what, two, three years now? And then I don't know if it's part of a raincoat or, these are definitely from the 80s, maybe the 90s, but I want to say at least the 80s. Izod Lacoste, which we know is definitely vintage. Um, they're just like these little see-through nylon pants. I mean, these can e easily be worn, put together an outfit for a um, streetwear look. Definitely. <clears throat> the next thing I have here is some Pepe jeans. They are a big size, which everything used to be oversized in the 90s. Um, it has like these paint splotches, which is actually a design of the jean at the bottom. It does have some wear, which I'm going to wash these up. I haven't washed or steamed anything yet. It has that detail on the pocket. Um, Pepe jeans, and this is a size. 40 I believe 40 actually a 42 so hopefully there is a guy out there looking for these but if not they can always be tailored to fit the right person the next okay I'll leave those for the next thing I have here is this Y2K type of skirt kind of like the dress in the first video this is a bigger size this is a um this is a 3x and it's by fashion r so some little cute plus size mommy will want to have that skirt And then next is just some pajama pants by Nick and Nora. And this is kind of like the sock, sock monkey print. And I was surprised when I looked these up and I saw how much this um, these were going for. I knew they were something at the thrift. I've never heard of the brand. <clears throat> and I was like, I'll just get them and try it out. But I was thinking like the whole set for like 50 to $80 just for the set. So for these pants, I'm thinking maybe I can get like 25. <clears throat> and then the next two pieces are athletic pieces. Um, I found these very, very sporty um, Adidas pants with the white, with the yellow um, three stripes on the side. They are from 2006. They actually were new with tag, but I had to wash them because the bottoms were like dirty from dragging on the floor. But I think those are very cute. And last but not least are these Nike dry fit, but I haven't looked these up. But I'm thinking this is some um, type of special deal because 10 less plastic bottles, one legend pant. So this may have been some type of collab um, with this print. These are a size large and everybody is on their fitness journey beginning the first of the year anyway. So yeah guys all I have for you today all right guys so that wraps up the first thrift haul of 2021 hopefully I'll be more consistent with uploading videos um, this year um, I don't know what happened last year last year is just a freaking blur so we're not even going to talk about 2020 okay so this 2021 we're going to think and talk about positive things and I am going to upload more this year and I want to bring you guys more content stay tuned because I do have some ideas in mind that I would love to share with you guys and some um thrifting journeys that I want to share with you as well 
So thank you guys for joining the Bang Bang Gang. And remember to always keep it cute.